Hello everyone, welcome to TechSpire. In today's video, we'll learn about how you can convert your SQL Server Spool Procedure definition into a Postgres compatible definition. Uh, as we know, they both the databases are not actually compatible, so you can ask, uh, you can say, take help of AI to do that. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm using OpenAI uh, and using Langchain uh, agent to do that. And for OpenAI, you require an API key, which you can get from the DAC. You can say from the uh, different API console. So let me just show you an output. So what it will do is it will take this store procedure file, which is SQL syntax. Uh, you, can, you can see that set no count on and all this are in uh, SQL Server, you can say keywords, but they are not uh, you can say as equal in uh, into the Postgres. So let me just run the script. Uh, let's see what will the output. It will take a couple of minutes, uh, a couple of seconds. We will see an our new file in this particular place. Once it completes, it has completed. You can see the file. And here you can see it has translated the same way, which is here. Let's select first name, last name, company, uh, sales, LT dot customer. Uh, then it is already been translated into this file. So here you can see the same has been, you can say, done. As you know, in uh, you can say uh, Postgres, we don't have store procedures similar to uh, SQL and also not in all the versions. So functions were always a generic replacement for them. But you need to remember when you are doing it, you might need to uh, focus on the uh, schemas. You might not be able to do as it is, so you might require some pre-knowledge, but you can handle it with the script. Uh, if there is any question, let me know. Have a good day. Bye.